let me tell you if you're a youtuber you'll always have these few things in common with other youtubers either you bring your camera out and there's no sd card in it <laughs> or as soon as you get to talking good you run out of space good morning uh -huh. good morning what it do what it do what it don't it is a friday and see what had happened was i took off this friday like a week and a half ago to be at home i said i needed a me day i needed a chill day by myself don't have to worry about nobody just kind of just download because my mother-in-law has been here for two weeks and then my mom is always at the house and i'm an introvert so I just needed to be away from people, even though my mama still was gonna be in the house. And then yesterday he talking about some, well, see if you can get off on tomorrow, cause I'm gonna try to get off. I was like, I'm already off. And look who here. Hey, but, but just mind you, she didn't communicate any of that to me. Because I knew if I had communicated that to you, you would have came home last week. No, 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 no. If you yeah, told yeah, me yeah, that yeah, you yeah. wanted a day off to yourself, Russ I wouldn't have took dark. the day off. She didn't communicate that. So how am I supposed to do that? But anyway, my me day is us day. And because he's here, woke up this morning grinding on folk, doing all that, that husband and wife skit. I was like, I'm supposed to be here alone. But I said, after this, we gonna get up and you gonna take me to go get my eyebrows threaded. All the stuff that I was gonna do by myself today, you gonna take me with you. I got a problem. No, you gonna take me, and you gonna have to rush. He don't mind. He don't care. I, I ain't got no problem with it. But it's not even a punishment because <laughs> he don't mind doing it. Hey, all you had to do was tell me I'm taking off Friday for me alone. Like last time you did that, and I and I went on. Now I, I didn't take it off when I went to it because mm -hmm. you communicated it last time. But this time yeah. you kept your mouth shut. <laughs> That's what happens, so, man. Any of you all that are introverts, let me know if y'all have a struggle with this. It's, mine is really it's a whole lot better than it used to be because when me and Stanley first got married, I would come home and be like, "Why the hell are you here?" Like I'm a person that needs my space. But after my mom moved in, it, it don't got real. I ain't even gonna lie, it has gotten real because there used to be a period of time where. You know, Stanley and I would still have time alone to ourselves at the house and whatnot. And now it's like hardly any time that no one is at the house. And then when his mom came up for two weeks, now his mom and my mom are two totally different people. Although my mom is at the house, my mom spends time to herself too. Stanley's mom is more of a extrovert, I guess. Well, no, she's very introverted too. But once she's once she's comfortable with you, that she wants you. You know, she wants to be in your presence. So, for two weeks straight, it's been it's been the three amigos. Like, Mama hardly ha hangs with us. When it's beneficial, she will. Yeah. Like, when I was going shopping and she was like, oh, well, I want to go with y'all. Oh, so now you want to hang with me. I can't remember. We, we go left. Right. Right. Okay. Right. I never remember. Stuck Stella. They build a house down there? They have built the houses down there. That's huh. crazy. Let me get my coins up. <laughs> um, but yeah. And every time Stanley's mom comes up to visit, we're always like, yeah. This is the true example of why we need a bigger house. Um, because once you add one more body into the mix, it's almost like you just feel like you're over top of each other. Yeah. And, but I will say this. When it comes to building a home, and I wish someone had sat down and talked to us about this, we built a starter home. We knew that we weren't gonna have kids and all this, so we knew that the possibility of us outgrowing this house in the next five to 10 years was pretty slim to none. But no one talks to you about life changes and how it would be easier to stretch yourself a little bit further while you're young than to wait until you're a little bit older then try to sell your home find what you need all of that and especially in our case we kind of need a one level home 
because of my mom's disability. And if we don't get a one level home, then at least it needs to have two master suites, one being on the first floor. Those floor plans are hardly ever on the market here in Virginia because most of the time, people that have that floor plan built that floor plan yeah, and they never right. leave they never leave that home because usually they're in a situation like we're in they're taking care of someone that's older you know they don't let their in-laws and moms and parents move in with them so they have the bottom level and they have the top level so those don't come on the market so in order for us to kind of get what we need we would actually have to build it and I'm gonna be honest with you <laughs> I don't ever want to do that again. That was a hell of a process. Bro. It was a hell of a process. Now, looking at it in hindsight, maybe it wasn't as bad as it really was, but going through it, that was hell. And, and I don't ever want to do that again. So, yeah, it's not a thing of us not being able to get a home right now, a bigger home right now. It's not what we need. You know, we've looked at several of them, and we're like, okay, this could possibly work. This could possibly work. But... In the grand scheme of things, we need a one level, <laughs> to be yeah. honest. Then I was like, hell, maybe we just need to get two condos and have them next door or something like that. And being that we have an, a home office and we have a studio, like they're dedicated spaces, we definitely don't have space in our home anymore. So then with the transition of trying to figure out what our jobs are gonna do, because my job is doing something, Stanley's job has put the pressure on him as you saw in a previous mm -hmm. vlog. He's had to go through classes and testing and training and he has to pass a series of three different um, testings to actually keep his job. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So this ain't, I mean, this is real. Yeah. I was, they ain't um, tell you that in school. They ain't tell you that in school. So, um, either way, we're going to be fine. Oh, yeah. I, either I ain't way. Worried. I ain't worried. But at the same time, you can't, um, you don't want to stick your neck out there knowing the possibility of things changing r drastically could actually happen. It's called happen. wisdom, man. Very, yeah. It's called being wise. But we do understand that sometimes without no risk, there's no reward. So, yeah. kind of got to talk. You got to calculate risk, though. Right. Yeah, but y'all see my eyebrows, right? These suckers are. I've been letting them grow back out because I missed an appointment and I actually took a razor to them. She gon' fuss. I don't wanna put the, y'all see them? Yeah, y'all can see them. They ain't waiting, buddy. While Annette is in there getting her, her nails done, I thought I'd come back and talk about relationship goals. Cause that kinda came to mind when she was talking about all the stuff that we going through right now. You know, in our household, and we know a lot of people come through YouTube and they see our relationship, they be like, you know, I want a relationship like y'all's, or, and our, all the YouTube family people come through, probably come to y'all channel and say the same thing. But I think when people say that and see it, they don't know what they're asking for. Uh, Cause what you gotta realize, what you see on camera, it took us years to get to this point. Uh, we be, we'll be married for 17 years this come June. And it took us all the way that long to get to where we are right now. So when you say relationship goes, you gotta be willing to go through the growing pains of getting to know that person, uh, dealing with that person's past because before they got to you, they also went through something and they might have gotten over what they went through. They might have lost a daddy or mama had a bad relationship with another girl, a guy in the past, so they pretty much shield themselves from you and don't love you the way you think you should be loved. There's a whole lot of stuff, you know, your money might be funny. Um, one of you might lose your job in the process of y'all trying to build your life and you gotta get through that. You might lose your parents or in our case, you may have to move in a parent. There's so much that you go through in your relationship um, to get to the point where you guys gel together, you guys flow together. Um, pretty much you you become one. For real, for real, you become one. So when people say relationship goes, you don't know what you're really asking for. And you're not gonna have a microwave relationship. You put your relationship in, in you know, in microwave and presto in, in a couple seconds, you got an awesome relationship. Uh, it don't happen that way. I'm sorry to tell you. You're gonna have to go through it, man. You're gonna have to go through it. Uh, you're gonna wake up one day uh, and be like, who in the hell did I just marry? Who is this person? Because you know most people when they get with you, they always put their best foot forward. 
Yeah, that's what they do. We all do it because you want the person bad enough. You don't want to show the person the ugly you read out the box. But as you keep going through a relationship, keep going, keep going, it might be three months, six months, a year, two months. You just never know when the real person will come out. And if that person gets squeezed enough or something goes through something or you remind them of something that the past per people did to them in their past relationship and they just blow up on you and, and you got to go through that and they pretended that you the other person. Yeah. So that's just only a smidgen. So I don't want to take up a lot of your time. So when you say relationship goals, I just want to say prepare to have your love and your relationship challenge to be able to flow like you see us and other youtubers happy relationship go so i don't i don't want to leave you down in the don'ts and be like you know what i don't want no relationship i don't want to be with nobody if i got to go through all that stuff i'm gonna tell you if you're willing to put in the work it's gonna be well worth it i would not exchange lynette for nobody else she is the best thing that has ever happened to me everything we done been through um, and that we're going through right now and even what we're gonna go through in the future I look forward to going through it with her cuz I know she got my back. I know she ain't gonna run out on me I know she I know she got my best interest at heart I know she loved me matter of fact when she when I when I got with her I didn't have nothing matter of fact I had, had this old beat-up car that ain't have no heat and I met her in the winter and she riding around with me in the car We both cold we both shivering going on dates I ain't had no money like that, you know, to be able to take her out and she's stuck in there. So I know she wouldn't whip me for what I had. She's whipped me for me. So I want to let you know, don't take what I said and be like, I think I'll just go ahead and be single for the rest of my life. No. If you can find that ride or die person that got your back, that's with you, for you, man, I'm telling you, it's going to be all worth it. So that's your hope right there for the relationship goal. So yeah, you can have this. Plus more, matter of fact, I would love for your relationship to be better than now. And you can come back and make some videos and I can learn something from you. <laughs> I'm back, y'all. What a good old threading job would do for you. Very nice and precise. I'm like, what time did that goddamn box stop <laughs> open up, man? <laughs> I got here at like, what, about five after 10? Yeah, and they still and, wait. And they still, black folk. They probably <laughs> supposed to have been open at nine o'clock. But you know what? That's what the that what the fellas get for years of laughing at y'all be sitting at the hair salon waiting to get y'all hair did. Mm -hmm. Now I got us sitting out there on the corner waiting to get our hair cut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we've been home. We got a little things done. Washed my hair and redid it. If you're interested in this hairstyle, it is literally a bun and bang. No frills, no nothing. Comes in a pack. You gotta clip the bang a little bit if you got a short forehead like I do. You can wear it swooped over or you can have it in the in the French China if you want to. I'll put a link to this in the description bar below if you're interested in rock, walking around here looking like Lynette. <laughs> but um, on our way to go get our taxes done and we have to go the back way around because traffic's backed up on the short way. Yeah. And we love our tax lady, our CPA but she loves to talk. So we like to get in there early so that we know she has appointments behind us. So that way the hostage situation is not gonna last too long. <laughs> so we get in there and get out. I got all my skit, got a business skit, YouTube skit, personal skit. You try to check behind yourself a thousand times and make sure you didn't leave anything out because literally we're at the ninth hour. Monday is the deadline. There's no room for error. <laughs> um, then after this, we may be going, we probably will be going because the way Stanley is set up, he been prepping for this all day. Um, well, it's actually some of our friends is um, celebrating his wife's birthday all weekend. Uh, and, um, these are the people we, we went to their, um, we went to a game night with them. So you saw yeah. a, a little clip mm -hmm. of that. Over at the house, yeah, they real good people. Yeah, they real good people. So, so when I get ever get a chance to support them, I try to uh, make that happen. So they supposed to be, they supposed to get there at five, but y'all know, black folk, nine out of the ten, yeah, they probably ain't. Even, it's five twenty-two. I'm pretty sure they, they probably ain't, not ain't even, even there. there yet. <laughs> but what are we doing? Because if we go tonight, are we going again tomorrow? To our uh, frustration? Yeah. We should be able to have um, enough. See, this is my husband. I'm like, pick one. He wants to do it all. 
But anyway, um, oh, we'll see. I'll come back with y'all. If I'm in tears, you know that we owe way more than my heart was prepared to. If we come back on here smiling and giddy, we were good with the return. And this year, I'm hoping, see, the only thing that's kind of making me scared is there was a lot of tax laws that changed this year because we prepared ourselves throughout our paycheck and get more money taken out of ourselves during the year mm -hmm. so we can kind of absorb the bang. Yeah. But I don't know what these, what this tax stuff going to do. You know what I'm saying? Is my makeup matching today? Was it just this lighting? Because so, yeah. I had to mix today. I think it's the lighting though. So we had to hold a little bit last year, but pretty much the amount we got back from state kind of covered it. <laughs> yeah. We always get good back from state, and I don't understand why most people say they don't get anything from state or it or they owe state. We always get back good for state. Mm -hmm. That's that got doing federal that be screwing us in the hind. Yeah. But we'll let you know. Hopefully, we come back over here with a good report. If if we just uh -huh. abruptly don't come back, <laughs> I'm pissed. Hey! We came out good this year, y'all. And when hey. I say good, we only owe them $36 this no, year. No, 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 $26. $26. $26. I got my little envelope right here. Mailed them their 26 Um, Because what y'all not understanding is, we have been up there in the fives. Then it's come down to about the low two. Yeah. And then it come down a little bit to the thousands. And we were this year we were like, these motherfuckers is not getting no more our money. And uh $26, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll mail them that. Yeah. I, I, I. Boy, I was happy as a June book and our tax um our CPA was like, it has been a bad year. You could tell her whole energy was off today. Uh -huh. She said it is so hard to tell people that are used to getting money back that you owing like eight to fifteen thousand dollars because yep. of these new tax laws and she's like people telling her shoulder what she doing da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. they'll go to somebody else and then they be like oh you were right like yep. these new tax laws are screwing people up screwing them over big time and then the saving race for us at the end was because we did owe a good little chunk of money um but our state was gonna offset it so we had to come out of our pocket but I remember, I said, uh, claim our home office, our square footage for our home office. And she was like, put that in, boom. Took that thousand some dollars down to 26. Yeah. Ew, ew, ew. Yeah. Yeah. So now I don't know what we're about to do because his coworker, they're getting ready to leave the restaurant right now. Um, and then I got another girlfriend that's been trying to get up with us for a minute and a half to go out. So she just hit me up. So we may be going out a little later. I don't know. So we're on our way to BJ's restaurant and brew house. See what had happened was I remember remember yesterday I was telling y'all that um we were supposed to be going out with some co-workers, the people that we went over to their house for game night. Because it's her birthday weekend and she's celebrating our weekend. I ain't really feel like going tonight. I would have went. And then my other girlfriend that lives like not even five miles from us that, that we never get to see. Her and her husband was like wanted to go out and do something. And I was like, let's go out and hang out with them tonight. Let's go get something to eat and yeah. kick it and see what that's all about. Cause I just didn't feel like yeah, I just didn't feel like the crowd tonight. I don't know why. You know, you know I've been in my space where I just want to just be like. <laughs> well, it's been a date night for just me and you anyway. Yeah, it's supposed to be our date yeah. night anyway, and that's my song right there. Me and Angel. Hey. It's yeah. us. <laughs> Once again. Look, we stole that tagline from Is This a Quickie with JT and Mike B. If y'all don't watch that channel, I don't know what's wrong with you all. I sat there yesterday and I nearly was in stitches. Because Mike B, Lord have mercy, I love my cousin, but Lord have mercy. I'll be like, Mike B, it's time to go sit on the couch. It's time to sit on the couch. Go make that appointment. But he went to that doctor's office and the girl passed out. And he said, well, maybe I need to prepare myself to pass out too. I kind of felt him a little bit on that one, though. 
it ain't nothing worse than you been in the hospital and you hear somebody hollering and screaming and, and you be like, be like, and you up next? <laughs> you swear to God that you gonna die. Oh my God. But last night while I was sitting at the computer, Stanley said, put the SD card in. I want you to watch this video, right? He showed me the video where he was sitting in the car and he was talking about relationships and stuff like that. Okay, now that we've gotten his take on relationships and whatnot, mine is basically the freaking same. There's no cookie cutter relationship and there is no blueprint to a perfect relationship. Nope. And to be honest, I, I hate it when people say relationship goals and things like that. I really do hate that because there are some people that could not walk a mile in Stanley and I's shoes. And we don't say that boastfully. We done went through some skit. Not relationship wise. So don't don't take it that way. That we, life stuff. Yeah, that life. ain't nobody cheated. Ain't nobody went upside nobody head. You know, and we've never been to a point where we kind of wanted to take a break from each other one time. But it wasn't even us. Mm -hmm. It was just the stress of life. Mm -hmm. And you have to remember like both of our backgrounds are so, I say, twisted. Um, you know, Stanley's background, he came from a two-parent household, but at some point, that his, both of his parents were incarcerated for, for a period of time. I have always lived in broken homes, and my mother, at a, around about her 30s, you know, she started experimenting and getting into um, drinking and drugs and stuff like that, and that, you know, that's my life in shambles and whatnot and you know i took responsibility for my brother at a very young age because we're 11 years apart so me being the older sister you know i took responsibility for a lot of things in his life that's why i don't want children um, nothing to do with him but the responsibility of being mother-like was put on me at such a young age that i made a decision i ain't want no, no parts of it then once my mom, once my brother went off to the military, my mom had a brain aneurysm and ended up partially paralyzed. And when her husband passed away, we ended up just moving her here. For her to be down there by herself was a safety hazard. So what we're saying is, could you take on all of that and still be in a healthy, happy, committed relationship? Mm -hmm. That's a lot of responsibility. And I'm going to be honest with you. I've told people time and time again, I don't think anyone else would have been up for the challenge but this man right here. You know what I'm saying? Because there are some people that would be like, no. <laughs> but <laughs> you're you know? worth it, man. That's, that's, that's why I'm here. You're worth it. And I would do the exact same thing for his, it, his, his mom. You know? And we've even spoken about that. But like, there may be a time where she needs to move in and that's what life is all about so y'all y'all don't get on there they, they don't teach you in school and they don't teach you that in school now if i had ever thought about it <laughs> you know way back in the gap and think that i could handle and be able to live through some of the stuff that i've lived through and some of the things oh that, you have been like uh -uh. i'd be like hell to the no oh. how in the world and um and I'm not saying that it's a walk in the park every day. It's not. Like I told y'all um, the, um, the other, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Been off one day of work and your whole life gets turned around. But like I told y'all on yesterday, I just needed some time alone on yesterday because I'm around people 24-7 and I feel like I haven't had a time to download. So, uh, Stanley has given me my space. Like, he's left the house today and left me in the room by myself. And I've been doing my own little thing. I've been watching my YouTube videos, catching yeah. up on everything that's going on. I don't even know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah. But, catch, I mean, just doing me. Not even doing anything. Just doing, just doing me. Did my little, um, we're playing in some makeup. I'm going to learn how to do eyelashes one day. <laughs> today won't today. Um. Uh, but yeah, relationships is something else because you're not marrying just that person. You're you're in a relationship with their family. Now praise the Lord that Stanley comes from good stock and there is not a single person in his family that I do not get along with. Um at first they thought I was a bougie bitch. But it's I not told him, I said it was my fault for that. But Stanley said that was his fault because we were so wrapped up into we'll talk about that one day. But our lives were controlled. 
for lack of a better word. So we I weren't say around a lot. Consumed. Consumed with some other things. So we weren't around a lot. So then when we did come around people, I don't know, I'm observing. I don't know how to take you. I don't know how to converse with you because I don't really know you yet. You know what I mean? So, and I'm just one of those people. I sit back, I observe, and then I figure out if I want to buck with you or not. But luckily, everybody's standing by. Cool. Um, same thing with my family. Stanley gets along with everybody. Mm -hmm. well, everybody loves Stanley anyway. Yeah. But yeah, um, relationships are a piece of work. Oh, it's a piece of work. And then you're forever. Oh, the wrong term? Yes. I think. And then you have to remember this. The person that you marry or the person that you got with is probably not the same person that you're in a relationship with today because we're forever changing and forever oh, yeah. evolving um last year i really didn't know if i liked standard sometimes i'll be honest with you like we <laughs> had some knockdown drag out conversations about the fact that i felt like both of us was going through a transformation of trying to figure out who we were like you get to this point in your life where you start evaluating everything uh -huh. and you start realizing some of the things that you missed out on you start trying mm -hmm. to play catch up with your life and all or, of this or the things that you decide to do because other people want you to do yeah then you get pissed off because you feel like you did a whole lot of experiment uh, yeah so last year i mean i didn't like him at all a lot of times last year <laughs> loved him to death but a whole lot of times I was like, I just don't like you. I, I don't like you. And I don't know if I'm going to like you in the morning. And, and if you continue being how you are, I don't know if I'm going to like you next week. Prom season? I don't know. They, they out here dressed up and whatnot. They look cute, though. They look mm -hmm. appropriate. But like we said, don't be looking at everybody else's relationships and trying to compare yours to theirs. Because their formula may not fit for your life exactly and your formula may look crazy as heck in their life you know what i mean and like i was telling um stanley earlier today because we were having a hard time trying to figure out where we're gonna eat what time we're gonna eat da 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 da, da. and you know you kind of get frustrated a little bit when you try to bring everybody else into your way and your world of how you do things and we had to understand that the way we work Everybody else can't work like that because they have other things in their formula that we do not have. Like us, if we think about going to Jamaica tomorrow, we can do it. Because the only thing that we have to do is say, hey. All we gotta do is let our job know and we good. I'm gonna be out for five days, take it away from my PTO bank, I'm good. Yeah. We don't need to find a babysitter. We don't need to call the school, take the babies out of school. We don't, <laughs> ha we, we don't have that. So our formula is different than somebody else's formula. So the way we move, is different so don't be trying to make your formula somebody else's and there's yours don't do that you buck yourself up but if you know that the formula you are in ain't working for you then move accordingly yeah. because some people will try to make some things work because it feels right you got time in um everybody else think you still should be in this relationship uh you preaching real good right now but we hungry but we hungry so, so we'll you, be can, you can preach you can finish preaching that message later mike <laughs> I'm a Baptist preacher today. <laughs> mm, bring it in. Uh. Mm. All right. I know that we abruptly cut you all off because what had happened was we were actually meeting our friends, our friends to go out to eat. Um, so we just got home. You no, know, wrapped the head up. You no, know, got into some comfortable clothes. Mm -hmm. And we about to close this bad boy out. And another formula for a good marriage is you always got to make time for each other. Exactly. Date each other. Be cute for each other. Exactly. Love on each other. But anyway, uh, while we're speaking about that, it's time for me to let y'all go. Yeah. So that you can love on the one you with. Yeah. And if you ain't with nobody, write you a list. Uh, what you want. What you want. Mm -hmm. Your absolutes and your absolutely nots. And when the next person come into your life and they have some absolutely nots, Go on and scratch that off your list. Yeah. Because you ain't even got time to play. Look, if you're over 30, you don't have time to play. Process of elimination, let them go. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty South. Two up, two down. Holla!